Hello, good afternoon everyone. Hope you guys are all doing fine. So today is a little bit different. I'm recording it from my balcony to just make you see the light because I know you guys are most of the time you're at home. All right, uh, the reason why I'm doing this video now is uh, one of you asked me the question uh, in the group, in WhatsApp group, what's the difference between uh, Virion and a virus? That, that was a very good question. And I was thinking about it since I already mentioned during the lecture that I recorded for you last week. However, I think it needs a little bit explanation into that. And um, well, the difference, uh, a lot of scientists um, sometimes uh, they call it as the same. The virus is the same as the virion. However, uh, there, there are another group of uh, scientists which actually consider that the virion and the virus are different. What they consider a virion is the matured virus. So the virus, which basically uh, what we have learned in the class that has a capsid and has a genetic material inside and is capable or is ready to infect other cells, that's what's considered a virion. However, the virus uh, is considered those particles which actually enter the host cell and are able to replicate inside the host cell. So there is a lot of confusion in that, but this is the closest definition. So a good example, uh, an, an analogy that we can take from our life is that, uh, that of a human being and the sperm. So the sperm is considered the virus and the human being is considered the virion. I hope uh, this was simplified and I hope you guys understood it. All right, so enjoy your time and I'll see you next on during the class session with a new video on the virus and the cancer uh, relationship. Thank you very much. See you guys. Bye-bye.